Hey guys, today I'm going to give you a full breakdown of the Battle of Sullas. That battle was the opening scene of Episode 12, Season 3 of Star Wars The Clone Wars. I think that episode was called Night Sisters? Anyway, I'm going to give you a full Legends breakdown of that battle. Now, before you click off the video, the Legends version of this battle is the same as the canon one, but in more detail. Okay, so let's start. Right off the top of my head, I can name at least three times that Asajj Ventress has failed a mission. On Teth, Ragosa, and Kamino. Count Dooku could also name those three times that his best assassin, Ventress, had failed a mission. Despite that, Dooku still considered her his best assassin, and sent her to command the Separatist forces at the Battle of Sullust. Sullust was strategically important because there was this manufacturing company called Soro Sub Corporation, which owned an industrial empire with Sullust at the centre of said empire. Soro Sub Corporation had littered the planet with factories. In fact, about half of Sullust's population worked for Soro Sub Corporation. With so many factories on the planet, Sullust could be a major producer of ships for your galactic starfleet if it was in your hands. That combined with it being on an important trade route, called the Rimmer trade route, made Sallust very strategically important. So much so that for the battle, the Separatists even sent a Providence-class Dreadnought to Sallust. The Separatists do not often send a Providence-class Dreadnought to places. So when you do, you know this planet is important. So, for the battle, both sides committed a large force. The Separatists had a Providence class carrier, two Recusant class light destroyers, and six Munificent class heavy frigates. This fleet was commanded by a Sarge Ventress and a tactical droid called TJ-912. The Republic had five Veneta class star destroyers, including their flagship, the Resolute, an acclimator class assault ship, and an array of smaller sub-capital ships, commanded by Generals Skywalker and Kenobi, along with Admiral Yularen. Both Starfleets met each other for battle in space above Sullust, and the Republic began by sending in their fighters, with their small escort ships and sub-capital ships, providing cover fire for the fighters. The Confederacy countered with their own fighters. Republic fighters moved to attack Separatist frigates, while Separatist fighters attacked the Republic's frigates, and it became clear that all three of the Republic's consular-class ships would be destroyed. Ventress soon led an attack on the Republic flagship itself. Ventress took a few squads of droid tri-fighters, a new kind of droid fighter, and the flagship was called the Resolute, and Ventress's plan to destroy it was simple. Trident Group 1, a squad of five droid tri-fighters, would attack the starboard engines. Meanwhile, five other droid tri-fighters, Trident Group 2, would destroy the portside deflector fields. Ventress herself would then seize the chance to destroy the command bridge. Which is what happened. Trident Group 2 took out the port side deflector shields, and Ventress took out the bridge. But here was the problem. A Venator has two bridges. A main one for command on the ship, and a second one for Starfighter command. If you look closely, Ventress attacked the Starfighter command bridge, but not the main bridge. Now, I think that if she had attacked the main bridge, the plot-armoured Admiral Yularen would have died. Instead, the Admiral was able to escape the Resolute. Either way, that decisive attack resulted in the destruction of the Resolute. By this point, the Jedi Generals Skywalker and Kenobi, in their Delta Seven Aether Sprite fighters, had joined the battle. Ventress, having destroyed the Resolute, takes her wing of droid fighters to attack the Jedi. She is able to ambush the Jedi and gets in the first shot, landing a hit on Kenobi's fighter. The Jedi respond by splitting up. Ventress sends her squadrons of droid tri-fighters to kill Skywalker in his fighter, while she goes to finish off Kenobi. Jedi Skywalker is able to cleverly manoeuvre so six droid tri-fighters all crash into each other, destroying all six of them. Kenobi, on the other hand, isn't so lucky. Ventress scores a second hit on his fighter, causing him to crash land in the hangar of the Providence-class Dreadnought. Skywalker soon shows up and saves the day by shooting down Asajj Ventress in her fighter, causing her to also crash land in the hangar of the Providence-class Dreadnought. 
So Darth Sidious, i.e. the number one Sith, is getting nervous. About what? Well, he thinks that Dooku is training Ventress so that she and Dooku can kill Sidious. Sidious doesn't want that to happen, so he says to Dooku, Kill her. Kill who? Ventress. Why? So you can't use her to kill me. I'm not sure about this. Do it! Okay, okay. Ventress is in command of all Confederate forces in the Sallust system, but the next one down from her is the tactical droid, called TJ-912, who is on one of the recusant class Star Destroyers. So he says to the tactical droid, Kill Ventress! Meanwhile, remember how Kenobi and Ventress both crash-landed in the hangar of the Providence-class Dreadnought? Well, Skywalker also decided to land in the hangar of the Providence-class Dreadnought to A. see if Kenobi is alright, and B. hopefully kill Ventress. His first objective, he succeeds. Kenobi's fine. And for his second, both he and Kenobi engage in a lightsaber duel against Ventress who was injured by the crash. She was soon able to catch both Jedi in a force choke, who were now about to suffocate and die from the force choke, and Ventress was about to win. Just one problem, plot armour. You can't kill either Kenobi or Skywalker, so, out of pure miracle, TJ-912 had his destroyer open fire on the Providence-class ship. The vibrations imposed by the ship rattled both Jedi out of the force choke, saving their lives. Ventress was subsequently captured by the Jedi. But then, Ventress gets a stroke of luck. A droid bomber kamikazes into the hangar of the Providence Dreadnought, forcing all three duelists to dive for cover. Then, two Venator-class Star Destroyers also opened fire on the Dreadnought. The Dreadnought was destroyed, and the two Jedi escaped. Ventress, on the other hand, did escape, just but was believed to be killed in action. The Separatist fleet withdraws from Sallust, giving the victory to the Republic, and Count Dooku reported to his master that Ventress was dead. Ventress would go on to attempt to assassinate Dooku twice in revenge for betraying her. Now, click on the card in the top right, or the video on the end screen. Bye. Subscribe.